Hey there. You know, I've been really obsessed with adeniums lately, those beautiful desert roses with their thick trunks and stunning blooms. But here's the thing, they're notoriously slow growers and that can be frustrating when all you want is to see them thrive and blossom. I've been trying out different methods to speed up their growth and let me tell you, it actually works. Did you know that adeniums can grow up to 30% faster with the right care? If you've been struggling with yours or just want to take your plan to the next level, stick around because I'm about to share some easy, practical tips that'll make a huge difference. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to get your adenium growing faster and healthier. Let's dive in. First off, adeniums are serious sun lovers. If you want yours to grow faster, make sure it's getting at least six to eight hours of direct sunlight every day. I made the mistake of keeping mine in partial shade at first and it barely grew. But once I moved it to a sunnier spot, it started to take off. If you're growing yours inside, the best spot is a south facing window. If that's not an option, Grow lights are a lifesaver, especially in winter when the days are shorter. Watering, yeah, it can be a bit of a balancing act. Adeniums are succulents, so they store water in their thick stems and roots. You've got to be careful not to overwater, or you'll end up with root rot. I usually wait until the top inch of the soil is dry before giving it a good soak. In spring and summer, you'll need to water more often since that's when they're actively growing, but in the winter, just back off and let the soil dry out more. Trust me, I've killed a few plants by overwatering in the colder months. Oh, and don't forget about feeding it. Fertilizer makes a huge difference if you want your adenium to grow faster. I like to use a balanced fertilizer something like 10 to 10 to 10 or 20 to 20 to 20, but diluted to half strength so it doesn't burn the roots. Once a month during the growing season is usually enough. But don't bother feeding it in the winter, it's basically hibernating then. If you're into organic stuff, fish emulsion works great too. Smells a bit, but your plants will love it. One thing I've learned the hard way Adeniums love warmth. They grow best when the temperature is between 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. If it gets too cold, below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the plant basically hits the brakes on growth. So, if you're in a colder area, keeping your adenium indoors or in a greenhouse really helps. I've found that once the temperature is just right, they grow much faster. Pruning can also speed things up. I used to be nervous about cutting mine back, but honestly, pruning encourages new growth and the plant ends up looking fuller and healthier. Early spring is the best time to prune right before it starts growing again. Just make sure you use clean, sharp shears and cut above a node. That's where the leaves or branches grow. Your adenium will thank you by sprouting new branches. Also, repotting can work wonders. If your adenium is outgrowing its pot, repotting it into a slightly bigger one gives the roots more room to spread out. I usually do this every two or three years and it really boosts growth. Be gentle, thaug, the roots are a bit fragile. Oh, and make sure the new pot has drainage holes Adeniums hate sitting in saggy soil. Cactus soil mixed with perlite is perfect because it drains well. Lastly, watch out for pests. Spider mites, aphids, and mealybugs can really mess up your adenium's growth. I had an infestation once, and it slowed everything down until I got rid of them. Neem all or insecticidal soap works well just give the plant a good spray if you spot any of these little guys. And it's always a good idea to keep the air circulating around your plants to prevent infestations in the first place. I use a small fan when mine is indoors. So yeah, 
Those are my tips for getting your denim to grow faster. It takes a bit of patience, but once you get the hang of it, it's really rewarding. I love seeing how much mine has grown over the years. If you try any of this, let me know how it works out for you. I'm always happy to talk plans.